hey what's up friends welcome back to the channel thanks for the 8k i really appreciate thanks for the support guys now in this simple tutorial you're going to be creating something simple so as you have seen in the title we are going to be using the html entity to print out these letters from a to z so you don't need to call in a letter library icon library stuff like that yet you can do it with simple html entity codes so right now this is the simple markup that i have i have the parent div with a class of container the div with the id icons this is the simple markup that we need on the page now for this styling i don't want to go into css but it's some simple code 24 lines of code then we want to be using tunnel javascript so we put our script tags be below before the body crossing tag then i'm going to target this div with the id of icons so const i'm going to call it icon icon div assign it to document oh the keyboard language changed so assign it to document dot query selector dot query selector and we want to target the div with the id of icons so hash icons then let us create variable here of output set it to nothing then we are going to create a for loop And here i'm going to say for var i equals 65 so you may ask how did you know that the letters start from here as we go on you'll learn the truth so for var i equals 65 i is less than 91 because these letters stop at 90 then we increment i by one so i plus plus so we are going to use the variable here of output output we are going to append it to this so open those two back ticks the ones above the tab key on your keyboard just press there and you'll get those two back ticks and i'm going to create a div so the opening and closing give this one class of icon so these are the classes that i already set in css for icon so they are just going to be for styling then let us now output the letters on the page as i said when we are starting from a it starts at 65 then up to 90 which will be z so i put 91 cause it will be false so i will be less than 91 oh greater sorry open the ampathan symbol put the hash then open the dollar and carry brackets so write dollar and carry brackets and inside we want to place our i it with sem semicolon you save nothing will happen because we need to inject this output to this div with the id of icon and remember we already created a variable here of icon div which i'll say icon div dot inner html reset it to output which we already appended this div to when we are opening through our numbers from 65 to 91 save this they are an error it's called inspect console oh i think i know the constant we can't override this so I'll say let have this yeah i'll be having our letters here 
and I misspell this, it has to be icon for us to get this styling. Then, yeah, for the reason why they are giving us the other constant stuff, once you declare a variable that it's constant, it can't be changed. Or, what can I say? You can't later on change the contents of that variable. So if it's one, it always be one. So it's a constant. That's the reason why they were throwing the other error. So let us wrap this inside span element for it to pick the CSS stylings that I put. Save. They will increase on the size. Now let us put the HTML code entity for each letter. So above it, I just write the ampathon symbol and write amp. So this is the code that you have to write, the HTML entity code that you have to write for the other ampathon symbol, the one you're seeing here. So I'm putting it here because I want the browser to interpret it into this letter. For us to use the original icon, we write the HTML code of amp, then the hash, and also dollar brackets, and we put the i that we are roping through. Just put a break tag here. We shall be having this. So show, they will be showing you the HTML code for the letter A. So every time you need letter A, as an icon, stuff like that, there's no need of importing a library for the letters. You just put this code, ampathon hash 65 semicolon. You'll be having this letter B, C, D, stuff like that. So the reason why I put 91 here was these letters stop at 90. So they will go beyond 90 and see they meet this condition of being less. If you want 91 to be included, you just add there. Less than or equal to, we we'll put 91, which is not a letter. That's the reason why we put the less than symbol only for it to stop at 90, which is Z. Every time you want the letters, there is no need of importing a library. Yet we have our good HTML in place, stuff like that. So, guys, subscribe to the channel if you really enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, Thanks for the 8K. So 80K milestone. I really appreciate. Continue supporting the channel. And I will see you in the next tutorials. Peace.